Renee Galvin here. I am an author and an illustrator of children's books and today I'm going to teach you how to draw an owl using your basic shapes. So if you are just joining me, grab a pencil, paper, and an eraser and we will do this together. And if you need to stop and pause and rewind, go ahead and do that and you catch up when you're ready. Here we go. can see my board there you are okay so our basic shape of the owl that we're drawing today is a circle so we're gonna kind of make almost like a moon shape like you would make a full moon so there would be where you start then you're gonna come over on the sides here and make like teardrop shapes on both sides. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete this circle down here. A little bit flatter, not so round, because it's gonna be the underside of his belly. Then we're gonna make two giant eyeballs. They're gonna be oversized. They're gonna be bigger than what you think they will be. They should be. So we're going to go to, they're going to take most of his face like this. And then inside of it, you're going to do another one. But you're going to do it off to the side here, and I'll show you why. So we're going to go like this. Put one there. And then do another one like this. And you kind of look silly, a little bit cross-eyed, and that's okay. The circle in here for the highlight and it makes them look less cross-eyed. A triangle here. You're thinking, I thought we were making an owl, huh? This is a triangle for the little horns of the owl's ears. The horns go like this and there's a little bit of hair up here. The hair kind of shags down here. Then this piece comes all the way down by the eye. Same for this one, all the way up and here. There's just little zigzags in there. Then we're going to do the nose, which is like a tri or the beak, which is like a triangle and it curves. And then it curves up, lines out, and just give this owl a beak. And darken in here. One here. And there you have the owls or the eyes. Now what we're gonna do is do this little part right in here. So he has feathers. We're gonna kind of make him little loops and they're gonna go all around this original circle that we made and under his wings. We're gonna go little U shapes or crescents all over. We're gonna bring this wing in, give it a crescent. Bring this wing in. sides here. Do the same thing. Bring them together. We're going to get rid of this original line that just showed us where we needed to go. This is our baseline. So that can go away. Now, come back here and fill in these. Little owl. Little owl 
feathers everywhere on his belly. You can erase that original line if you want. Now, he's got little feet, but they're perched right underneath him. So you're gonna they're gonna be hidden, and what you're mainly gonna see is just his little toes. We're gonna do one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're just kind of taking our line out and curving in a little bit. And he's going to be sitting on a branch. So we're going to kind of go up and over here. And this can be any way you want it to be because this is organic shape. So they don't have to be perfect. There's no right or wrong way. And then I'm gonna put lines in the tree for just texture reasons. And then if we put little teardrop shapes on here, it gives the, the look of the little leaves. So that is our owl. And it is that easy. Basic circle shape, two more circles, we used a triangle, we did the little wings, then we used our letter U, went all over, teardrops, upside down teardrops, and then our branch. Oh, and our nose is like a triangle with the crescent. Super, super easy. Like I always tell you, break it down into those basic shapes and you can draw anything. Um, I would like to see who is drawing with me. So if you draw, drew along, and you have your own little owl that you made yourself, show me in the comments below, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing, and I appreciate everyone. Bye.